Hey everyone, Trimble 40 Control version 6.1 introduces a new feature that allows you to import an existing setup of your setup M1 into the data collector of Trimble 40 Control. With this video I would like to run you through the workflow and make you familiar with the process. So let me start with the setup M1 user interface. I will connect to my setup M1 using my credentials and in my example I'm monitoring a dam wall. It's a very simple setup. I'm using a total station which is mounted on a fixed location so I have known coordinates for my total station location and I'm using one point BS1 backside 1 as my control point for my station setup. There are also four monitoring points, so the points uh, where I expect or where some movement could potentially happen, which are referred to as upstream 1 to 4. The scheduler settings are as follows. So you see the round interval is set to 5 minutes, which means a new round is measured every 5 minutes. Okay, with that I will switch to Trimble 40 Control because I would like to show you how you can now make use of this setup um, in T4D. In T4D you can insert a module, the data collector module. I will um, call it dam, dam East. And as I'm using a setup M1, of course, I select as a connection type uh, setup M1, setup M1 IST Connect, because my setup M1 is registered with IST Connect. The custom name of this setup M1 unit is uh, TQA uh, setup M, and my credentials are TQA user, and of course, I also need to provide a password. On top of that, I need to enter my credentials, my setup M1 credentials. This is the same set of credentials I used earlier when I connected to the web interface of the setup M1. And it will then authorize and authenticate against the setup M1 and um, retrieve some configuration information like the setup M1 uh, name. Uh, the instrument serial number, so basically the uh, serial number of the total station that is connected to this setup M1 unit, and it also shows me what is the active project right now, which is DAM East. When I click on finish, I'm coming back to this um, wizard here. I also need to specify a storage path because the communication is, um, is a file-based approach and this is why I need to specify some location where the retrieved files are stored. Um, when I go to next, um, I also need to specify a mission, also call it DAM East, and um, of course I also need to add a new total station. So my total station name is um, also Dam East, and with that, round settings, alarm settings, so that's all fine. I can go to finish, and a new data collector module should be inserted. Um, as I'm also looking for some, some processing results eventually, I'm also going ahead and insert a terrestrial engine real-time module right away. Um, so let me also call this one Dam East. And select my data collector module as input source. Finish. It automatically inserts an integrity monitor as well, which is uh, doing the adjustment later on. What I still need to do is I need to open my site setup. And when I do a right click, say site setup, a new window will open up and provides me with two options. One of them says create new site setup, um, which is nothing I would like to do now because I would like to import um, the site setup from an existing project on the setup M1 
the project or the site setup I, I showed you earlier. Um, when I click on import site setup from existing setup uh, project on setup M1, I go to next and um, here again, this is the setup M1 um, set, of, set of credentials. I go to next and it does another authorization and um, authentication here. And once this is, is successful, it also loads the projects. And my currently active project is called Dam East. And I will simply select, um, yeah, I will simply select my last uh, round measurement, um, which I will use as my reference looking ahead. So reference means all the displacements you will see later on, all subsequent round measurements will be compared against the results of this round. Um, you see here are, is the list of my points. Again, backside one, upstream one, two, four. So this looks all good. When I go to finish, the site setup dialog opens up um, automatically. And um, again, here's the list of points. Um, you also see um, information I've entered previously is also visible here, target type, prism constants. And um, I can now specify my station setup. So I will specify um, the station setup mode and select as my backside BS1. Say OK. And of course, I still need to provide coordinates of my total station. So yes, I would like to change them. It will open up this point information view. And here I can insert, for example, 1000 1000 and as elevation for example 100 so this is the coordinate um, is is the coordinate set of my total station and um, with the next round measurement bs1 is used for the orientation so the direction towards bs1 is the northing of my local coordinate system and with that i can click on OK. So everything is now configured and you see I could easily uh, reuse the information of my setup M1 project. So there was no need to add uh, new points here. Um, and as I already inserted a terrestrial engine in real time and an integrity monitor, so there should be information available once the next round measurement came in. Uh, you see when I hover over this data collector module, it says waiting for new round measurement. So let me go back to my setup M1 and see what's the status there. Um, as I said earlier, um, the round scheduler setting is um, set to five minutes. So you see it's just starting. Uh, backside one is currently being measured and it still measures four points. And latest then I should see new information coming in. Here we go. So it just populated. You see um, the point names and the backside point uh, with a measurement timestamp 1435, uh, which matches my, my local time. So that makes all sense. Um, everything is green. Uh, that's perfect. And as I already inserted the processing uh, engines and the adjustment um, engine, there should actually be some results available in here, which is the case. You see um, total station east as my total station point, backside one as my backside point, which is the northing orientation of my local coordinate system at the same time. And um, the green points um, are the foresight points upstream one to four. Thank you very much for watching.